The question you might be asking is, you know, Ellen, if we're talking about now moving over to the branding place that we've nailed this resume, written the cover letter, done the interview, don't you think maybe you should have done the branding first and not put the cart before the horse? And the answer is really simple. If this first show said, we're going to talk about branding, would you really have listened? So the other reason for that is when you're doing the resume and you're doing the cover letter and you're going through these exercises, you're really starting to think about what value you have, what skills that you have that you can bring to the table and understand more about yourself. And when you understand more about yourself, then we're starting to talk about your brand. And with props to Bono, it is a brand you day. Why branding? Because as I mentioned before, everything today in the marketplace is a brand. You need to be able to demonstrate who you are in a unique, in a differentiated way that is memorable for all of the right reasons. I mean, in today's marketplace, think about it. The minute that you drop a song on iTunes, you wind up getting a line of vodka, a line of clothes, and a fragrance because businesses believe that branding sells product. And when you brand, you're selling product and the product is you. So that's the reason we want to brand. Do you go out there and say, I'm now branding? No, branding is an exercise that you do in order to build your elevator pitch, in order to build those few sentences that will allow you to indicate to someone what value you bring, what skills you have in a way that is memorable and also professional.